What's up? It's Gabriel and welcome back to the channel. Today, I thought that we would cover resume tips and stuff you can use to build a resume. So why not get started? Let's go. So you may be wondering, well, why do I need to make a resume? But a resume is just a way to tell who you are as a person. You can start this process in a Word document or even a Google Doc. Whichever you prefer is up to you. But for this video, I will probably start off using Word doc. All right, so when you get into Microsoft Word, you're gonna want to search for templates. And then when you get there, you're going to type in resume because that's what we're trying to do. And it'll display a bunch of different resumes that you can choose from. These are templates. So what that is, is just like an example of a resume that you may wanna use. So to be honest, I just started from scratch on Word. I didn't go into picking the, what's it called, any of the templates. So what I did basically is I switched it to, you know, Times New Roman, the staples, Times New Roman, I set it the font to 12. And then I would insert a, what's it called, a table. And it would be a two table. And basically I would write different headers, um, for different sections and that's what I would go about doing it you know I would could um what's it called with this you can like highlight um the top row and you could um for example merge cells so that is one so if you had like your name at the top or yada yada and you broke it down to different sections I'm not gonna go into detail how I created it but I will show you a final a final um, sample of my um, thing that I use with, of course, without all my information on it. <laughs> and yeah, so here I'll show it to you now. So here's a sample of my resume that I use. Of course, I cleared everything out so none of my information is showing. But essentially what you would wanna do is, you know, put your name at the top, email, phone number. Um, I put my LinkedIn social like in there yada yada you have your basic titles education work experience mentorship or any organizations you're a part of projects and skills um you probably want to keep it to one page because you know you're just starting out with your resume honestly two pages may be further down the road you know later on when you have more experience in the job market or world so that's basically it you know it's just um what's it called all this is just like was boxes essentially um you know how you have borders and then i just erased all the borders and put the border where borders where i wanted it and basically that's it for creating a resume at least in word document I did want to cover a way that um, a resume can be created that's not through um, Google Doc or um, Microsoft Word, and it is this. All right, so in this beautiful world of technology, there are AIs that you can use, artificial intelligence, to help you create your resume. And one resume AI building site was one salting AI that I found, and basically, you can just make a resume with it. It um, basically will put up a resume already created and you just gotta fill in the blank, essentially. You know, how easy is that? And basically, this is what I use to update my resume today. I think I like it a lot better than the resume that I used in my own like creation on Word. So, Essentially, you can use that for creating a resume too. So these were just a few tips, you know, on creating a resume. Essentially, these were all ways to get you going on your resume. I hope it helps and I will see you in the next video. All right. See ya.